All right, guys, this is the episode that you've all been waiting for. Um, we've been not holding out, but it's been a long time since we announced that we're going to have a different van. Mm. Reason being is, even though the last video you just saw was us getting home from the Nullarbor, um, We've that actually was, been back for a couple of months. That was now. like how long? Yeah, a couple of months, eh? December, we got back. Yeah, yep. Um, we've had a lot of people asking us what we've got. And we've been holding off telling a lot of people because we didn't know. No, that's the reason <laughs> we're not trying to be mysterious. No, no. <laughs> so what we had to do is we had to sell the Gator X first mm -hmm. before we could get this van that's sitting right here. We're, it's we'll time. turn it it's around ready. in a minute. But um, we just want to start off by saying thank you for everybody that's been following us so far. Yes, we appreciate it so much. Yep. So if you are new uh, and you don't know what we're doing, we've been travelling the country for the last 14 odd months in our, it was a brand new Gator X, so 18 foot van. Mm -hmm. um, we did a lot of stuff. Uh, we did most of the country except for Tassie and Queensland. Queensland. Um, we had to get a different van. There are so many reasons why. Um, we'll dig into that later. Should we just show them? I reckon. All right. Let's rip the band-aid off. Okay. <laughs> let's let's do this. <sighs> Everyone? Hold on, what's your guesses? <laughs> put in put in the comments, yeah, what you think it's it, going to be. Do it legit too. Like yeah. write it before we actually show you what it is. But um, oh, without further ado, everyone meet. Bertha. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, pick your jaws up off the ground. <laughs> it's um, probably not what you're thinking. No. Everybody, come into the shade. That's, uh, no, <laughs> the shade's too shady. Um, everybody seemed to think that we were getting a brand new, bigger, better, flasher van. Mm, we could be the first YouTubers in history to go backwards. Well, we've definitely gone backwards, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so this is a 2008 Daydream Retreat. No, Retreat, retreat Daydream. daydream. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not getting any sponsorship by <laughs> Retreat. Uh, anyway, this was a cheap van. Mm. So why are we doing this? What we want to do is we want to show everyone that you can get a cheaper van, you can do some renos to it, and you can get out there and explore this country with a good setup. Yeah, it doesn't... Like we've, I guess what we learned from the last one is you don't need a big flash van. I mean, this no. is big. It's definitely not flash though. Yes. Um, we want a big flash van. But like money, that's yes. not achievable for everybody. Yeah. So that's the thing. What we want to show you is that you can do this for around fifty to sixty thousand um, dollars. Not everybody can afford that one hundred and fifty thousand dollar van these days because that's like a realistic price these days. Yeah. Between one hundred and one hundred fifty. Van. So how do we know that? We are one of those people. That's, we can't afford it that's anymore. Us. <laughs> we do not have the money. We spent all our money doing the first 14 months. Mm. Yes, we make a little bit off YouTube and I'm back working at the moment, but there's no way we could spend that amount that we sold our Gator X for and then get another van and then have enough to travel for yeah. another year. It's just, yeah, it's not, like we said, it's not achievable for everyone to no. have that 150K plus setup. No. Right, so this is what we've ended up with. 2008, so that makes it 18. 15 years old. 15 years old, maths, maths. Um, it's a good base. So what did we pay, Erin? We paid 37 and a half. 37 and a half thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. um, obviously it needs some work to it. It's got a few things that we want to do to bring it up to 2023 standards. Yeah, so we'll, we'll show you inside, but the main things that we wanted in a van were more space. Um, we wanted dual axle off-road suspension, like heaps of clearance. Yeah, not that we're opposed to a uh, single axle, but no. we um, we got the dogs with us this time. We just, yeah, and that's why we wanted more space. Yeah, oh, we should say, it's 24 foot. 
Yes. So we got a lot of extra space yeah. considering it was 18 foot is what we had last time. The awning is bigger. The awning's 19 foot. <laughs> yeah, the awning is bigger than our last van. You, the first thing you're going to be saying is 24 foot. That's ridiculous. You can't tow that. You've got a ranger. Um, the crazy thing is, is the tear weight on this caravan is 2340 and that is only 12 kilos heavier than the last van at mm. tear. Now we never weighed the last van at tear, so we will we'll actually weigh this one. I'm like not, a I'm not a hundred percent, you know, uh, I believe it'll be over that 2340. We'll see. But we'll see. Yeah. That's... We need to know what we're starting off with. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see what we can cull if necessary. Yeah. Because we still want a titty. We got lots of wants still, <laughs> but we'll work on the needs first. All right. Um, what else? Oh, you notice it's a double bunk. We did want a triple, but yeah. it's just really what was on the market at the time. There wasn't really a lot on the market, hey. No, nah, not not triple bunks. Kind of time, and not within our price range. Like we could get newer things, but that was like the higher end of the budget, and we wanted money obviously left over to travel and to do. New Mods. battery setups and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So. All right. Well, we'll talk more about what we're going to do. We'll go inside. We'll show them that, and then. Um... Come on in. So as you can see, it is very brown. <laughs> <laughs> brown, blues, all the colours that 2008 were mm, cool. Old school. Yeah. This is, um, I think around 2008 was sort of the start of bunk vans, family vans. It was pretty much grey nomads. Um, you didn't really find many bunk vans. So mm. it's very old school. It wasn't, back then they weren't tarting them up and, not tarting them up, but... Even it wasn't modernised. Yeah, even you'll see the layout of the bathrooms. Yeah. Like the separate shower and toilet, which we'll show you in a sec, but it's not like your usual not how they kind are of now. layout. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's let's take that as a cue and let's go straight in there. All right. All right, so separate toilet and we've got a shower here. So that's nice. We've got our own toilet space, like as before we had the combo, which was all right. That's definitely doable. And... We have a shower now. But what you'll notice is all the new vans have a whole ensuite. So that would be turned around and the door would be into the toilet yeah. space. So it's not, yeah, not what you'd see these days. No, but, but it'll it'll do. Like, because we've got, we got this concertina door here. So you still close that. You're in your own sort of area. And the kids love that. They love that they get their own little bedroom. Room. Yeah, like we had, I mean, we had the curtain last time. But yeah, I mean, it was fine. But, but that's um, like a proper room and it's, you know, yeah. they're very excited. All right, so then we have a big three way fridge. Now, we don't know if we'll keep that. That might be a rip out and put a compressor fridge in. Mm. Uh, that really just depends on budget. Uh, this has no solar whatsoever. The roof is empty. Um, so the, one of the biggest things we're going to do is put in a big 12 volt system. Um, are still pricing that up and getting that sorted, but that was the, one of the main things we wanted. We yeah. were sick of having cloudy days and running out of power. Not running out, but just having to be very careful with our power. Just constantly watching it, you know, like yeah. it wasn't... I'd wake up. I'd yeah. wake up every morning and check the battery monitor. Yeah. Because of fear that we'd drop down too much overnight, and then be careful in the morning making coffees because you don't want to use too much. So that'll be different. We've got 24 foot worth of roof space here, so we can put a lot of solar. A lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then we're having a north south bed. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited about that, that and I'm excited cool. that we both get like our own cupboard space. Yep. Yeah, I need about two drawers and that's it. And then so I get two cupboards. Excellent. Yeah. Yes, but we have to be careful. We cannot just overload it. Clothes don't weigh much. But we <laughs> realistically, here's the thing, we know how much we had weight wise in the last van. We're yes. putting the same stuff back in. Yes. We should be fine. We should be. Keyword being should. We'll see. So, talk us through it Erin. What are we doing in here, like, to do something about 
this. <laughs> this the brownness the brownness <laughs> um okay so basically we're just going to paint it that's our grand plan in here um new bench tops new bench tops new splashback we'll probably get rid of this glass because yeah, i don't definitely. know how that is going to go yeah. off-road even though this does have like not off-road suspension but we'll get to that later but yeah yeah, yeah um steel pre belt and we might get this re-upholstered i think so i think that blue is not too bad but that the bottom is but this stuff, oh, i don't oh, even I don't know, know what that is that's like some random color it's, it's blue it's definitely blue but it's got like gold in it or something like that anyway yeah um yeah we might change the lights just give it a bit of a cosmetic lift you know yeah so we're not going to go silly we could spend 30 grand on this and turn it into a flash new van but then why why bother it's never going to be like a super modern amazing van, no look you could get in this van as it is right now 100 percent. apart from not having solar mm. you can get out there um and tour around so that's what we really want to show is you don't need everything it is achievable we uh, just want it to look pretty yes <laughs> yeah we just can't do the brown no, <laughs> but no. if you've got a brown van that's fine that's yeah absolutely fine hey um Drop in the comments what you would do to this van. Let us know. Yeah. We, I mean, because we're not set on any plans yet. No, no. Um, and yeah, maybe you've got some ideas that we haven't thought of yet. Yeah. So any help will be awesome. Anyway, let's go outside and have a little walk around out there. All right. So we'll start out the front. Um, not much to show here, really. No, <laughs> no tunnel boot in this thing. Uh, so it's got one of these front boots. The uh, struts were gone on it, so I pulled them off. So that over there is, oh, there's two battery boxes, but there's only one AGM in there. And then you've just got an AC charger. That is it. Um, it does have a diesel heater, so it's got the tank sitting in there. But there's heaps of room there. Uh, it's quite light on the ball at the moment. Um, we've only towed it twice, getting it home and then getting it here to my mate's place to film this. Uh, it tows really, really well. But um, I know there's bugger all ball weight on it. Um, I could feel that in the car. But come around here, a big Dometic awning. So this is a 19 foot awning. And I have to say that was one thing with the old van was it was a 13 foot awning. That's not 13 feet, but get, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> um, it just, when it rained, cause it was so high and so short, Rain would come in sideways and you'd have bugger all room, wouldn't you? Mm. It was really That's like... That's why we pretty much lived in the van on rainy days. Yeah, yeah. So this will be great. Heaps of room. The dogs will be outside. Uh, oh, that's another thing we didn't say. So because it's not a triple bunk, the dogs will be pretty much sleeping on the floor. Just sort of... It's just what we have to do. Uh, it's not ideal, but it is it. Now, let me show you this. This is so 2008, it's not funny. Our new cooker. <laughs> Look at that. Guys, put your Webbers away. State of the art. <laughs> so that'll come out. Um, I don't think I'll fit the Weber in there. No, I don't even not think I know it won't fit in there. So I have to sort out something there. I don't even know if a Ziggy will fit in there because the Ziggy, <clears throat> the lid flips over and it's a lot lower when you do that. But I don't know. It needs a good reseal. There's a lot of these things. Um, the silicon you can just literally pull it out so it needs a resale we'll do that um it's got old school style windows so this was just before they brought out like a good dometic windows and all those other brands they got now so these are wind out windows they're still all right um i don't mind it we'll just once again give those a resale it's got the picnic table but i tried to unlock it before for the second time and unlock once and then i couldn't unlock it again so i'll probably have to replace that <laughs> unless I can figure out the lock. I don't know. Maybe um, you just can't use keys. Maybe. Not much to show you on the back. It's got a reversing camera. We never used the reversing camera on the last van. We never even hooked it up. So whether we do something with that, I don't know. Um, we're thinking about possibly pulling off all this bar at the back to shave some weight and then mounting the spare wheel underneath or even under the bed because there's so much room inside. Um, come around here. It's got a brand new hot water system. So it's not instant gas like our old one was, but it's a brand new water system, hot water system nonetheless. So we'll see how that runs before we go ripping that out and changing it. Um, once again, trying to keep that budget down. So it's got three tank fillers. 
doesn't have three tanks. This has five water tanks under it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's 500 kilos of water out of your payload gone. So look, we won't keep the five tanks. We will 100% keep two freshwater tanks, possibly a third, just depends, I'm pointing two, possibly a third, just depends on weight. Um, and then one of those tanks will turn into a grey water tank. So that's where like things like that that got added on after, I know the, the tear weight will be a little bit over what it says. Hopefully not too much though. They're only sort of 10 to 15 kilos each. Um, it's just got your vents for your three-way fridge and then your toilet cassette. It's really bare bones on the outside. There's mm. really not much to it. Um, it does have a six inch chassis, but what we'll do now, this is the bit I'm excited about is the suspension. So I'll jump under there, I'll take you under and I'll show you through it. Righto, so this is our off-road suspension. Uh, it's not like a lot of the uh, independent suspensions you see these days. This is pretty old school, but it works. So these, this is made by Simplicity Axles and it is a load sharing suspension system. So essentially what it is, is you've got your two trailing arms pointing opposite ways, which is very different to what you normally see. And then you've got this uh, leaf spring that shares the load between the two. So when this one goes up, that one goes down. Now, um, Simplicity Axles, from what I hear, they supply a lot of the defense force. So if their if a defense force is using this gear uh, to get their trailers out and about into those places that are really rugged and rough, um, I'm pretty confident in it. I have I did do a lot of research on this suspension when I knew we were looking at this van, and so far everyone says that it is damn good. Like it is simple, hence the name. Uh, that's, that's really good. You don't even have shock absorbers. You got nothing happening under here. So. Um, I'm pretty damn keen to see how this goes out on the corrugations. We are heading up towards the Cape this year. So I'm gonna be able to give you some good feedback on the suspension. Now, this is sort of their older version. I'm pretty sure they still make this one, but they now make the same setup, but with um, a coil and shock absorber, and that's meant to be real good. They also do airbag systems, but um, you obviously can't do airbags on this. Um, but I am just super keen to get out there and try this. As far as I can tell from my research, Bush Tracker have been running this suspension for a long time and they are extremely capable vans that get out there. I did watch a video on this working too and it looks pretty cool. Um, if you've got this suspension on a van or if you've towed anything with this suspension, hit us up in the comments, let us know how does it go. Um, yeah, and this, you can see this, this is the tanks. So you've got two tanks there and then behind the axle, you've got another three. So that's just, it's a crazy amount. Um, we'll change that, we'll get rid of that all. But under here, that's about it. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. There's not a lot going on. All right, so another thing with this van is it's got a good set of Bridgestone Jeweler all-terrains on it. So they're pretty much new. So I'm pretty stoked we don't have to change the tires on it. Uh, I do have to change the spare, but that's all good. The wheels are ugly as all sin. Erin doesn't care though. She's like, oh, they're just wheels, just yeah, leave them. they look like wheels to me. <laughs> I'll do my very best to swap those wheels out because <laughs> I can't deal with that. Or at least paint them anyway. Um, funny thing with the suspension is I sat down with Erin and I explained to her for about 15 minutes how this suspension works and how excited I am. And what did you say at the end of it? Why are you telling me this? <laughs> Still had no idea how it works. You just I let don't him care, get through the whole thing. I was just like, just be polite and let him say his piece. And then I was like, why? Was, why did you have to tell me that? The I conversation started because I was explaining why we cannot have airbags with this. So yeah. I was going oh, that's through because I did ask, like, yeah. that Can was we one of the airbags? things you wanted to do. Yeah. yeah. So look, obviously we had airbags in the last van. Pretty disappointed that we're going around without airbags now. I know, I'm not looking forward to the levelling process. No, we're first There's time. There's going to be some arguments. Yeah, I so. can 100% guarantee that. <laughs> we're going to have to buy the, the levelling blocks and chocks and all that gear. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll tell you what, towing this thing, we haven't towed it far. We just went the really windy roads from where we picked it up back to home. And then we towed it up to here to my mate's place, up the highway. And it tows straight as an arrow. Absolutely unbelievable. Um, so I'm pretty pretty keen to get out there and see how it goes. So this is our new home, guys. This is it. Welcome. <laughs> Bit of a change. We're going from single axle 18 foot to 24 foot tandem axle. Mm. Um, and look, it's cool because we get to experience it in a whole different way. Yeah. And traveling with dogs now. Uh, it might be a little bit crazy, but. 
Some of you are going to think we're, we we're silly for doing this. <laughs> um, we might be silly. We are idiots. We do say that. <laughs> I mean, so. We make some pretty poor choices. <laughs> but, you know. But, um, yeah, we're keen as to get stuck into this build. We're going to take you through it all. Uh, it's not going to be an over-top thing. We're keeping that budget down. Like I said, fifty to $60,000, I think. I'd like to keep it to fifty. dollars Yeah. Fifty-five. It gives us more money to travel with. Mm. But anyway, um, come along for the journey, guys. It's going to be good. Thanks for watching. See you next time.